So for this week's challenge, we are going to try and maneuver through all of this equipment and have Lex again assist us with rack pulls and shrugs. All right, so what we're gonna be doing this week is we're gonna be doing a ladder all the way up. But unlike a traditional ladder where you go up and then you go down, we're just gonna be going up and that's gonna be the way that we're gonna be progressing over the course of subsequent weeks. But we're gonna start with an assumed 70-ish percent of what your one rep max would be on a deadlift variation, okay? So we're gonna be doing conventional rack pulls here. So the rack pull should be set up about eh, mid shin, just below the knee, so that as Lex gets down into position, so let's go ahead and get into a normal rack pull position. So she want, you wanna have that bar tight against the legs as if you were doing a normal deadlift, just to make sure that you're keeping the, the load out of your low back as much as possible and keep it into your glutes. So now Lex is going to stand up, she's gonna lift and she's gonna go into that rack pull. So we're gonna do one rack pull to start and then three shrugs. So go ahead and do three shrugs. And that's gonna be one rep of the sequence. So now go back down, babe. Now she's gonna do two rack pulls. One, two, and now she's gonna do three shrugs again. And that's two rounds of the sequence. Go back down, babe. Now three rack pulls. And then three shrugs. Awesome, you can go ahead and put that down. So, in theory, this would be a pretty heavy load. We're talking about 70% of what your one rep max would be on deadlift, which translating over to rack pull is still pretty heavy. Doing one rep of that, not gonna be the end of the world. You're gonna feel pretty comfortable with that. Three shrugs, still gonna be pretty easy. Again, you can also modify that to a power shrug. So a power shrug is just gonna be kind of a, a cheating shrug. So just getting your hips involved, extending your hips up, getting the momentum moving up and making sure that that shrug is a bit more powerful. You can utilize that technique a bit if you want to, especially if the load starts getting a bit heavier for shrugs. But the idea here is that you can continue to move those reps up as each round continues to add on top of itself. So you do one, three shrugs, two reps of the rack pulls, three shrugs, on and on and on, until eventually you can no longer either get rack pulls or get shrugs. You're most likely gonna fail on the rack pulls first. So this is gonna be an incredibly intense way to, to do this challenge though. There are gonna be a few things that you wanna make sure that you are prepared for. The first one obviously being, this is a very heavy movement, relatively speaking. The injury potential for something like this is going to be a bit higher than it would be for non-axial loaded movement. So you wanna be very careful with that. You wanna make sure that you're listening and paying attention to your body. And also if you're not the best or not the most comfortable with the deadlift variation, maybe err on the side of caution here. The next thing is this gonna be very fatiguing. So as you start getting to the upper ends of what you're capable of doing, especially as all of those reps start to compound on each other, your technique might start to, to dwindle and might start to, uh, to wither away. So you have to be very, very cautious with that. Don't rush the reps. Definitely don't rush through the rack pulls as you are in a vulnerable position. So as we wrap this up, again, wanna reiterate here, one rep, three shrugs, two reps, of rack pulls, three shrugs, three reps of rack pulls, three shrugs, on and on and on, until you can no longer get any more. Thank you, babe. And that's it for this week. <laughs>